Alright, hi guys, this is Asaurus1. Uh, this is the fourth Surface tutorial. Ta da! Um, and I kind of have a cold, um, so bear with me if I kind of sound snuffly. Um, anyways, I'm going to sh be showing you how to do like a magnifying glass zoom kind of effect um, in Game Maker with surfaces. Um, and so I've got. Um, couple sprites, just, just actually one, uh, just a circle that we're going to be using to kind of cut out like like a, a cookie cutter on the surface um, to make it a circle instead of having just a square magnifying glass, because usually magnifying glasses are circular, although I have seen square ones. Um, and I have a room set up here, it's just got some tiles in it, um, so you know nothing's fancy. Um, it'll work with anything because we're just going to be capturing the room on a surface, um, so it doesn't have to be tiles. Um, it'll work with objects too. Um, just a background and some tiles. You know, this is for tutorial purposes only. This is not a game I'm making. Um, so, and um, yeah, background. I put the tiles and an object. Um, and this is what basically we need one object to do this. Um, so to start off, let's create our surface, um, and I'm s I've got it set up so that we have a scale variable, and if you press up or down, scale variable goes up and down, so we can change our level of magnification. So to start off, we're going to um, create two surfaces this time, uh, one for the zoom and one to capture the room with. Um, so um, room surface. Uh, equals surface create. Um, right, oh, we need a size. Um, room width. Room height. Um, and our second surface is going to be the size of our sprite. So, uh, 100 by 100. And so that would be uh, zoom surface equals surface create. 100 by 100. Alright, and then we're going to clear both these surfaces. So, surface set target room surface um, uh, momentary. Oh, yeah, draw clear um, alpha C white. surface set so we're now um, one thing you're noticing here is I'm not setting the target um, back I'm not using the reset target um, to set it back before I set it to the new surface and that's because I don't have to setting the reset target is essentially the same as doing this surface set target negative one um, it's just the default drawing target so you can switch surfaces, and that'll save you an extra step, possibly some CPU time, although not much. Uh, but if you're doing a for loop, you don't need that extra step, and that might cut some time, although not really much, I don't think. But anyways, just a tip. Um, another draw clear alpha, so I'll just copy and paste, and then um, copy and paste this, and do reset, and then we don't need an argument there. All right, so that's all set up. Um, Save. Now drawing. Um, actually, no room end. We gotta free these surfaces. Surface free uh, room surface surface free zoom surface. Okay, cool. Um, and now in the end step event, we're gonna draw to these surfaces. Um, so first thing we're going to do is um, capture our room. So surface set target room surface. Um, and I'm going to just put that into my clipboard because uh, we're going to be using that function a lot so we don't have to type it. And then uh, indent uh, couple spaces and um, visible. Um, equals false, and the reason we're turning we're turning ourselves off. 
basically. We're not showing ourselves because we don't want to capture the object that's doing the zooming because that's going to be an overlaid effect. And if you copy it, you're going to get recursive uh, image problems and it's not going to be pretty. So we just turn ourselves off. And then we're going to um, screen, redraw. So everything's redrawn and then visible equals true. So make sure we, we can be seen again. And then um, so that's all set. Now we're going to switch over to the, the zoom surface. So remember I copied that into my clipboard. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is draw our sprite onto the surface. Uh, actually, we're going to clear it before that. So draw, clear, alpha, c white, and zero. And then we're going to draw a sprite. So draw a sprite, sprite zero, um, whatever some of it, sub image. And then we're going to draw it at zero, zero, I think. Um, let me make sure my, yeah. So my origin's at zero, zero, so you want to draw it on the surface at zero, zero, since the surface is the same size. Um, then we're going to, um, this is kind of where the magic happens. Um, so we're going to take the room surface, and we're going to draw it on the zoom surface using a multiply blend mode, um, which basically means since our sprite is black and white, where it's white, you're going to have full color. Where it's black, you're going to have black, so it's your magnifying glass effect is going to have a black circle around it. And then where it's alpha, you're going to have alpha, so it's going to the background's going to show through. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do draw set blend mode extension um, bm uh, destination color and bm zero. All right, and then draw um, surface extended um, room surface, and now we get to the place where do we draw it? Okay, I have another video set up for an explanation about what we're gonna do, but first I'm gonna show you about how it works. First, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So negative scale, that's our variable, times um, the mouse x, so this is the x coordinate, negative scale times the mouse x, um, and negative scale times mouse y. Um, so that's where we're drawing it. Um, so basically we're taking the mouse coordinate and we're flipping it over the scale over the origin um, by the negative value of the scale um, and in the video you'll understand um, and then x scale and y scale is going to be scale and scale and then no rotation no color I mean obviously c white because it multiplies and then uh, an alpha of one and if we then we reset our target, reset target, and I'm gonna cut right now to the video, um, in which the the video that explains how you use these. Okay, so um, here's how this is going to work. Uh, so right here we have our room, and we have our mouse inside our room and the coordinates of the mouse represented by this box and um, oops let me hide that just so you don't get confused um, so we can um, move our mouse around inside our room okay um, and what we're going for is we want the room to scale around the mouse um, so I've got my scale set to 2 up here so the first thing we have to do is we have to scale this mouse coordinate around the origin by the scale but negative so we're gonna scale it by negative 2 in this case um, you're gonna get something like that so we can change the scale here you can see it's scaling it you know there's there's one so it's the same size but it's just opposite the on the origin here's two it's twice as big 
and it's opposite on the origin. Um, so that taken care of, we then need to translate our room back to this coordinate. Um, so we're going to do that like this. Boom. So there's our translated room. Um, toggle that off. You see that? And I'm talking about the image of the room, not the actual room, but the image that's on the surface that we captured. Um, and so now you can see we move it around as the scale changes and this scaled coordinate changes the room the image of the room moves um, however we need to scale the room because we're doing the zoom effect and so we're going to scale it by the scale and it's gonna look like that whoops this yeah so now you can see we've got the scaled room as we change the scale you know we can set it to one and then it's the same size or we can set it to five and then we can zoom out here and you can see it's a very big room um, but there's a problem in that it's not quite scaling around the mouse um, instead it's still scaling around the origin um, so there you go I put my mouse over here it's scaling around the origin not the mouse which isn't what we want um, and so what we're gonna do is since it's scaling around the origin all we have to do is move the origin to where the mouse is um, and the way we're gonna do that is translating this scaled room back to be so that its origin for scaling is centered on the mouse um, so we're gonna do that by translating um, here's the vector we're going to use, so we're going to be translating it from the origin to the location of the mouse. Um, and it looks like this. Boom, boom. Okay, uh, so there it is. Now it's back where it's supposed to be. Um, and you can see as I move, it scales around the mouse. Like so. And if I move it over here, it scales around the mouse. And if I move the mouse like right here in the middle, it still scales around the mouse. So I could you know, zoom like that. Um, so that's going to give us the zoom kind of effect that we want, and it'll still keep it centered on the mouse. Okay, welcome back. Um, I hope that was informative, if you didn't skip over it. Um, so now we're going to go on to our drawing. Um, of the actual surface. Uh, let me just save. And then um, for this basically we just have to draw the zoom surface at the mouse coordinate. So zoom, uh, no draw surface, sorry, um, zoom surface mouse x mouse y. Um, and cross your fingers this works. Um, play the game and either we'll get an error or it'll look really bad or it'll work um, okay so it looked really bad um, and I know why so um, right here we changed the blend mode but we never changed it back and that's the problem um, because then after that the entire room, including the tiles, was drawn using the multiply blend mode. Um, so, draw set blend mode, not mouse, M O D E, um, B M normal. Um, and notice the difference. Here you have to use an extended blend mode, here you don't. Um, because BM normal is just like a preset for a, an extended blend mode. Um, so, save it. Now, it should work a bit better, hopefully. Alright, so, hey, it works. Um, but, as you can see, it's not quite working. We want it to, uh, right now, it's scaling away from the mouse cursor. You can see that, which is what we programmed it to do. 
but we want it to scale away from the middle of and I can't move my mouse over it to show you but uh, <laughs> but we want it to move away from the middle of the circle scale away from the middle of the circle and we want to draw the circle in, in the middle of the mouse coordinate um, so basically to do that we just have to offset it a little bit um, so going back to our code um, to get the circle to draw um, where we want it to um, we're gonna subtract 50 or half the half the height of the surface um, so just subtract 50 from each and then of course to offset that we'd have to add 50 in here um, to the place where we're drawing the surface um, just to kind of balance it um, and what you get is a magnifying glass. Well, here it doesn't show you anything, but um, if you see, you can zoom in, and it also works for zooming out. So let's say we want to zoom out here. We can zoom out. Obviously, there's a white border around my room, but, um, you know, so it's like you're looking through a magnifying glass or binoculars the wrong way, um, which can be an interesting effect. So, hope you learned something, and I will see you next time on Surfaces Explained.